Hi everyone, welcome to the small business interview. I have with me art creator, uh, the person who brought big boys taco cart from ground up. He's here today. Um, big boys taco cart serves authentic Tijuana style tacos uh, from their mobile taco cart. So thanks art for joining us. Thanks for the invite. I appreciate it. Uh, so why don't you tell us the story behind Big Boys Tacos and how did it all start? Okay. Um, Big Boys Tacos, that's just a nickname that was given to me as a kid. Um, I was a heavy duty kid. And um, so that was just my nickname. And it kind of stuck with me with uh, friends and family. And uh, it all started um, 2017. And um, it was more like Nothing that was really planned, it was just the moment. I um, have a car audio business, and at that time, it, uh, the stereo business had declining due to the fact that many people purchased new vehicles, it's, it already has an amplified system, et cetera, et cetera. So I, I saw it as a decline. So I was thinking about things that I want to do um, that was a need as opposed to one. You know, stereo is, is more of a want as opposed to a need. So um, I was just kind of brainstorming. On, Something I want to do, maybe do, you know, sell insurance, be a loan officer, go back to uh, law enforcement. But, you know, being at my age, I decided I'm going to do something different. So, uh, but how it all really started was uh, during the summer of 2017, my cousin was on school break from UCSD and he would hang out the stair up with me um, basically all day. And I had a tenant that was running our studio. He had just got laid up from the shipyard. And um, he had told me that he was probably gonna be moving out due to the fact that he lost his job and he wasn't able to pay rent any, any, any longer. And um, well, that day was his son's uh, birthday and uh, he told me he was, in a, he was in a barbecue. And I said, you know what? Barbecue sounds good. If you don't mind, how about if I buy the meat and, uh, and uh, you know, I'll buy you grill. And um, he said, sure. And, um, so uh, my tenant, his name is Robert. He uh, was running a studio for me. So um, he, you know, I the meat, he, he impressed me because he started to grill extremely fast with charcoal. A lot of people have trouble with charcoal. And um, I saw that he uh, started up, you know, pretty fast. And me having a background with um, doing catering um, as a young teenager, it kind of a light bulb went off. I said, he just lost his job. He starts to grill up fast. I enjoyed food. And um, I said, um, you know, are you looking for, uh, do you like this kind of work, Robert? You know, cooking? Because I love it. Because he used to work for, he used to uh, work for a, a, a taco shop and he always enjoyed it. And um, so we decided to um, go forward and have a, um, a grand opening for my wife's um, nail salon and we decided to have food and we thought the perfect opportunity was to uh, you know grill grill some meat and um, that's what we did so uh, for the grand opening we had um, every customer that came in we gave them um, you know a taco and um, it was a hit from there people liked the food and asked us hey you know you know can we you know, are we catering? Are we doing that for, you know, as a business? And I said, you know, soon enough. And uh, that's basically how it started. And within a month, I had my brother-in-law make me a custom grill, which I still use today. And um, that's how it all started. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. And I think, um, especially since you make everything from scratch, like tortillas, your condiments, like everything's from scratch. I think um, it really shows people can tell that you put in a lot of time and passion into it. And uh, are, these are all family recipes, right? Correct, yes. Um, like our family, um, on mother's side, they have a tortilla factory. And um, my father from uh, Mexico and my mother being from Mexico as well. And um, me being a food connoisseur, I um, you know, wanted to you know, make food the way I like to eat it. So, um, uh, everything we make from guacamole to salsa is actually made by my wife. The uh, onions, cilantro, we chop it ourselves. 
it's all yeah it's all it's all homemade homemade food brought brought to you to the customers and you guys are still making food today um like uh have did you notice any effect from covid19 on your business yes covid19 put a a big a big hurt on us um in regards to uh, our business because you know even though we're essential but a lot of the events that we do um cater to you know more than 10 people for example every saturday and sunday we sell at the swap meet and um that's you know we're there at five in the morning we're there until you know early afternoon and um you know we haven't been there since you know the mid-march and also with all the week you know, work a lot of uh, school events, like uh, sporting events from softball to baseball to football, uh, even homecoming, school dances. We lost out on all school functions, which is a, a big major hit. And also during the week, um, uh, we do a lot of breweries from Tuesday through Friday. We're at different breweries throughout San Diego. And um, so we basically have been basically shut down. So we're basically operating off of... Um, you know, in front of my, my business, I have a, a food trailer and um, I've been selling there on Fridays, Saturday and Sunday evenings. And uh, we also do drop-offs too. Like today we had a, a catering drop-off. Um, and other than that, we were selling talk food out of our food trailer up until about 8.30 uh, p.m. today. So you guys are open Friday, Saturdays and Sundays. And, and it sounds like you said you still do catering, right? So... Um, at least that's an option that you're still providing. Correct. Yes. Uh, you know, we prepare the food and we just, you know, deliver a drop off where they come pick it up for small office parties or, you know, uh, for staff, uh, you know, some um, companies, you know, have come on their cafeteria and um, or the nearby cafeteria next to their workplace has been shut down. So they'll call us up and say, you know, we have eight employees. Can we pick it up? And we even offer the delivery service as well. So, um, but yeah, we've been we've been maintaining the, um, small catering drop-offs as well as the the uh, food that we sell uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And this upcoming Tuesday for Cinco de Mayo, we'll be um, we'll be open on this Tuesday for the Cinco de Mayo um, day oh. from three to about eight p.m. And. Um when you say when you do delivery, um, can we find, so do we call you or uh, do we, do you deliver through platforms like DoorDash and Uber Eats? Um, and how do we contact you for catering if we're going to do that? Okay, so the best way to get a hold of us is our website, uh, which you have on the screen. It's www.bigboystacocart.com. On the top right-hand corner, there's a link that says contact. As you click on that link, there's a form that you would fill out and it'll have basic information about what size is your party, you know, and then once you fill it out, send it out to us, we'll receive it and we'll reply back with our full menu and options for pickup or a drop off as well. And, yep, um, so it's the website up here, everyone. Contact us is up here. And they will bring food to you or you guys can pick it up. We were doing Grubhub and Uber Eats, but unfortunately we, uh, because of the COVID, they're understaffed. We had moved from a different location where we were at during the week. So they still have our old address and it's been tough trying to get through with Grubhub via email or making a direct phone call, Grubhub and Uber Eats. So we decided to just turn it off uh, because, you know, I sent inquiry email to them to change the address and to no avail. So for the meantime, just to make it easy for customers, we just um, have turned off the um, delivery platforms with Grubhub and Uber Eats. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. A lot of um, a lot of delivery, I guess, uh, delivery systems are slow, like USPS, FedEx, so and especially food, because nobody's going out for that. Um, do you do you see? Um, do you think there'll be any like lasting changes to the way you do business, like as we try to return back to being normal? Well, I think there's going to be there's going to definitely there'll be still be some changes um, in in regards to um, maybe maybe stricter restrictions, um, uh, you know maybe. But I I think that it's it's, it's going to be um, something that's going to probably come out uh, um, 
strong with regards to, you know, the conditions and the way we operate, but eventually it'll go away and eventually go back to normal because, you know, everyone has to eat. So it's an essential. Um, once this virus is actually, they come up with a cure or, you know, I think that, um, you know, we'll be, we'll, we'll, this will be booming um, again. Um, but, you know, we just, we just, that is it, roll the punches. Yeah, you keep keep going until, you know, you roll with it. You kind of keep going until things return back to normal. Yeah, you're right. Everyone everyone needs food and everyone likes tacos. So, yes. I mean, um, do you want to um, talk about the difference between, because you guys do Tijuana style tacos. So you want to like, want to talk about the difference between a Tijuana style taco from like any other taco? Correct. Uh you know, we're here, as you know, that I believe it was Taco Bell, one of the best um, Mexican restaurant or taco shop in the, in the country. But because they're they're everywhere throughout the nation, and they don't have TJ style, style tacos throughout the nation, so that's more likely why they were voted as the best taco. But in, um, our Tijuana style, the style tacos are different in regards to um, we use the way we grill. We don't use propane to grill our meats. Um, a lot of taco places have their meats pre-chopped. It looks like more like ground beef and they put it over, you know, they grill over propane. We do over, uh, like they do in Tijuana, it's um, uh, mesquite briquettes, charcoal, and um, you know, you get dirty with charcoal. A lot of people don't like to get dirty. So it takes time to get the charcoal going, heat right, temperature, uh, but we also marinate our meats and our meats for about four to about five days um, in our fridge in sealed containers. So when it's time to grill it, it's, it's nice and moist and it's grilled over uh, over charcoal briquettes. And um, if you go down to, to Tijuana, Mexico, where my father's from, and if you go down to any taco place out there, and if you see anybody grilling over pain, you're not going to go there. You're going to go to where they're grilling over charcoal. So I want to implement that flavor from down um, Baja down to um, here in the, the United States. And um, as a child, I would go, we would go to Mexico, I would say twice a month. And it was always going down there to eat tacos and some seafood cocktails. And um, as a child, I, was, I said, well, if I ever own a restaurant, I want to be able to, you know, have something that's, you know, similar uh, to, the, to the food that I've always uh, loved as a, as a child as of today as well. Yeah, I know you guys have um, a lot of authentic recipes and I, you make beverages and condiments and I have behind me here too, like your custom made cart. Um, yeah, it's, it's all pretty unique. You don't find tacos like this anywhere else. Um, people down in San Diego are super lucky because uh, I'm in the North Bay, but um, nor, I'm NorCal. Um, but yeah, no, it's 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 interesting because you don't at least I don't think about like the style of taco. I just you know I think I think of tacos just as its own thing. But there are many different styles and it's you know regions. Um, yeah, what? Um, so when? But can you explain to us like a little bit of your your menu items or what? What's your favorite thing to make? I guess. Okay, so. Um... Tacos, of course. <laughs> yeah. Uh, casada, the beef. I mean, beef is more expensive than chicken. Um, beef is is what I, 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 you know, if I were to order or five tacos, I would say four of them would be not asada. One of them would be uh, pork a la bala. And um, we, our menu consists of, it's real simple. It's um, tacos on mini corn tortilla or on mini hard tortilla. So there's, you know, a lot of people like flour and, um, you know, more people like corn, but I have the options for both. And um, so I offer tacos with two different tortillas options, which is good. I also even offer molitas, which is two corn tortillas and then stuffed inside is, is hot melted cheese uh, with meat of their choice. And the toppings like guacamole, salsa, cilantro, onion, Guacamole is pure guacamole. We don't put sour cream, we don't put onions, we don't put tomato, just pure avocado. Um, we do it down, down in Mexico. 
And if you wanted tomatoes or any other stuff, well, salsas consist of tomatoes as well. So we have molitas. Um, we also have quesadillas, which is a flour tortilla and it's folded in half. And we also have quesadillas with meat inside. So similar to a molita, but it's just with a flour tortilla. And we also offer uh, special occasions. Uh, we'll have a combination with um, our homemade rice and uh, beans. And um, we even have like a torta, which is uh, a big bolillo, you know, uh, bread. It's just like a, a big, um, a big sandwich. And um, we put the meat inside of it and guacamole, salsa, cilantro, onion. We can put cheese in there. But um, I keep the menu simple because that's what I like. To, personally, that's what I like to eat the, the most is tortas, quesadillas, molitas, and tacos. And of course, you have to wash it down with some homemade drinks and everything's made from scratch from the pineapple, watermelon, strawberry, horchata, tamarindo. I mean, we make about 10 different flavors and um, those, are, those are also a hit as well. Very cool. Well, it's, it's good to hear that you guys are still in business. You guys are still catering. You're still making food, even if it's short in hours and uh, but you guys are open Tuesday. Uh, different hours for Cinco de Mayo. Um, so we'll, we'll definitely, you know, keep, you know, reach out to you and get tacos. Uh, so until things go back to normal, and then, you, you know, we're looking forward to when you guys have more hours again, you know, open more, more often. Um, but yeah, th thanks Art for joining us today. You know, well, well, thank, thank you very much. Um, you know, when it gets back to normal, um, we have a rotating schedule. A lot of our locations that we cater to uh, Tuesday through Friday, they're at different breweries in uh, Northern San Diego. And we even have an all you can eat option, all you can eat taco option on Thursdays at, uh, at a brewery uh, called 32 North. It's two hours and it's unlimited tacos. Can't beat it for $10 and all we have to no sharing, but that's a good deal. But we'll see what happens once this, this calms down and we're permitted back to go to different places. But um. I definitely uh, appreciate the invite, and hopefully, I'll see you at one of our one of our functions, whether it's a corporate event, or at a brewery or sporting function, or even a private event at your residence. Um, we would be happy to uh, to uh, cater your event. Yep, and and the brewery is called um, what was it? 30, 32 North Green Company, right? And that's I think I had the location here. It's eight six eight six five five. Uh, Production Avenue, uh, Suite A in San Diego, of course. Um, so yeah, we'll de you know, de definitely come seek you out and um, check out what you guys have. Yes, it's definitely uh, 32 North. They, you know, they were the first brewery that I worked at and um, I'm still working with them since uh, late 2017 and also do Harlem Brewery up in um, Rancho Bernardo. And uh, we do uh, a Longship Brewery as well in Mira Mesa and other breweries as well. Um, they call us up and we, we get on their rotating schedule, maybe once or twice a month, for special events. But uh, for the most part, you'll catch me on Longship Brewery, 32 North Brewery, or Harlan Brewery um, on a rotating basis. All right, thank you, Art. Uh, thanks everyone for joining us. I appreciate the invite. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we'll, we'll uh, keep in touch. Okay, Art? Likewise. You take care and have a, a great rest of the night. All right. Good night, guys.